Welcome back, y'all, to What About That? OMG, this is our Moss Drama Edition, okay? <laughs> We're talking about Supergirls, Comic-Con, dramas. <laughs> lordy, lordy. I mean, these people. Girl, Jen, tell. let's talk about it. Yes, we do. We want to talk about it. We've actually been talking about this probably like for 30 minutes off, ca- off the podcast. And so today we really, really want to discuss... Think of this podcast today as kind of like a follow-up to our discussion on ships. So we did another podcast and we talked about ships and we talked about networks and we talked about how they treat their LGBTQ representation. And so yesterday there was some drama at the Comic-Con. What'd you think of it? Um, okay. So the thing is, what happened, for those of you guys aren't paying attention on Twitter or are just not paying attention, um... The cast of Supergirl was asked a question to recap the season. Jeremy Jordan and all the cast decided to sing some stuff, and he sang about how Supercorp are just friends, it's not going to happen. And the cast had a good joking laugh at the expense of the fandom community. Now, a lot of people were upset for good reason. A lot of people didn't understand the reason very well, and a lot of people um, who are fans of Supercorp did go a little overboard with some of their hatred. Now, for me, I thought that the words that were spoken were very upsetting. And as a Supercorp person, like, I like Supercorp, but I'm also not um, delusional. I know that it wasn't going to happen. But as a fan of shipping people and shipping things and the concept of shipping, I was very upset and hurt by the words of the cast and the way they handled it, except for Kate McGrath. Now, for me, the um, kind of, you know, handling of it was just really like a lack of PR skill and a lack of true understanding about what ships are and what fandoms and ships are about. Um, There are a lot of people who don't really understand the concept of shipping or they just think it's like, oh, you just want everybody to be gay or whatever. No, you can ship guy and girl. You can ship guy, guy, girl, girl, you know, all kinds of things. I suggest you guys all go to YouTube and check out Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, It's a really awesome channel who talks about ships. Her whole concept is breaking down ships, telling you how they are, what they're about, what the real reason, the history behind ships, where it came from, and why we do it. So if you guys want a lot more knowledge about that, I suggest you go and check out that channel. Um, We tend to, I I don't know, this whole situation kind of bummed me out. I love, loved, I loved Supergirl for a moment and for a while, and not so much now. I mean, Jeremy did apologize twice, um, and I think that I will give him a little bit of the doubt for apologizing, but I also know that he's grossly uneducated about ships and how it works and therefore the lack of PR coaching and understanding of ships and lack of knowledge made the show look really bad they could have come into the interview solely talking about season two but they tried to get a jab in at the ships and Supercorp and that just was not a good business move on the behalf of the actors Jen what do you think okay so here's my thoughts on it um I feel like this wasn't just a show problem. I think that this is a network problem. I think this is a problem that CW has on multiple shows. And it's kind of like this idea that fool me once, 100, shame on you. Fool me twice, you know, currently, um, shame on me. So what I think is the problem is that this network has a bunch of small shows that rely on niche fan base to support it. And what they've done is they have incorporated on several shows, you see it co- like a pattern of having LGBTQ couple, couples introduced into a storyline. And they'll even spin it and publicize it and use social media as a platform to grow a fan base. So they have this equation of growing a fan base uh, f- by using the LGBTQ community. And then once they've grown this fan base, they don't necessarily know what to do with it. And it shows in some of the storylines. And it also shows in the way that they 
they created this culture of these shows have a culture of which in which some cases people ship other other relations on the show not necessarily ones that are canon and a lot of the times they'll they'll say that they're in support of these shows and they'll even kind of go on ahead and produce these shows with the intention of building these um with they'll, they'll 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 play upon the idea of these ships so here's the thing that katie mcgrath said in an interview she said when she went to go do the role and she did the scenes she had she went into it without in her mind any inclination of creating this mass fandom this mass ship uh, that later became supercorp but through editing through sound through cuts it came out the final cut came out looking like these two women were having a much more deeper Deep, moment yeah. than they were and a lot of fans hooked on to that and they started to really really support this you know and so i think the problem lies with the network not having a great way of cultivating of, of, no of using this community to cultivate viewership and then after that not really having a good plan on what to do with it necessarily and i think that it was really really evident in this in this group interview that they had because my full thoughts on the interview is that i didn't walk away really blaming jeremy i didn't really walk away blaming any of the actors in, individually for their part in this i walked away thinking how unprepared they seemed as a group and i was really really surprised by how unprepared melissa benoist seemed for the questions about Supercorp. I just feel like somebody they should have somebody from PR giving her some giving her some statements to say to the press. And it was and, and, and I've looked at a few of her other interviews where she was talking about Supercorp and in some of them she she didn't seem as prepared as well. And I think that because it's such a sensitive topic and the the shows know it's a sensitive topic. You know, they've experienced this before with a hundred. They see what happens when when something breaks apart, you know? And I think that I think that she should have been coached a little bit more. I think they all should be coached a little bit more. And I think that in his, you know, it seemed that Jeremy was trying to be like show off and, you know, be this musical theater guy in this interview. And unfortunately the first thing he did when asked to recap was actually recap something that was completely not had nothing to do with the actual season two of the show you know it wasn't a story point supercorp was an undertone it wasn't a story point but he recapped that and so and then and then and then the jokes that came after or the comments that came after they were dismissive and i think that's kind of an area what i think that's kind of where people get hurt is when you when you and you unintentionally dismiss um, such a large part of your fan base. And for me, moving forward today, Adair, I feel like I feel like we we ourselves we were big super core people. We create a lot of content and we support the ship. We support the community and we make this podcast because we're really supportive of these discussions. And I feel like the cast made it apparently aware of how aware they are of what Supercorp is. And then the writers on the show are clearly aware of the feedback from the fans, the social media waves of feedback. So the only thing that I realized through this video, through this interview, was just like, I don't think that I can... I, I, I know that any scene we see next season between Lena and Kara that's cut together in a certain way, any of those quieter moments, I think going into season three, I feel like they'll they'll be they'll be produced to create this to speak to the to for the supercore fan base. But that in itself seems like it any scene between them moving forward might be conceived a little bit as queer baiting, you know? And I just don't know that I want to be brought along for a season three of, you know, where they know that this isn't going to happen, that, but they're just going to keep putting in moments where Lena's sending room full of flowers and stuff like that to Kara. I just can't, I don't know if I want to sit through that. What are your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, with this particular show, like we were saying, there is a certain way to be coached in this regard. Kate McGrath comes off looking like the better person out of all this because... 
she comes from queer um, different shows and having that fan base and she understands the shipping and things like that. So she actually knew how to address it correctly. Okay. Um, I think that if Kyler Lee had been in the interview as well, she would have also kind of stopped what was happening. She, she understands the idea of the shipping from Grey's Anatomy and the different shows she's been on and she gets it. Um, I think that, you know, the easiest way they could have done this was season two, do the little song, whatever. And I think that they should have said, like, if the interviewer said, hey, what about the ships? What about Carmel? She should have said, you know, Cara's dealing with it. It's going to be a point of contention in the next season. It's going to be really interesting to watch. That's a talking point. Oh, well, how about Samvers? Oh, well, you know, there's a lot going to happen with Samvers now that Floriana might not be coming back. Or, you know, she's not a regular, so there's going to be a lot of drama and angst. It's going to be really great. I hope the fans, you know, come and see that and, and stay tuned for that storyline. Oh, I hear, you know, how you guys feel about the whole Super Corp thing? Oh, man, you know... Even though it's not a can thing, you know, it's fun that the audience and our and our supporters can see that connection, and it's fun that they can ship something and find something, you know, relatable within our friendship. You know, I think that's great, and, you know, we even ship Win and Superman, ha ha ha. You know, that's the way you handle the PR for this kind of show. You know, and that's how you handle the ship and the, and the talking about, but what you don't do is mock the people who are giving you ratings. So... As far as watching the show, guys, we're going to leave it up to you because at the moment, I'm not really invested. I know that Florian is going to leave, so something's going to happen with Sanvers. And who I know knows? They I, are pro- th- I was going to say, there'll probably be a lot more um, sensitive, maybe pull back the Super Corp next season. And I don't know that that's a good idea, but I also feel like they're I gonna- don't want to be queer baited by that you know i don't well, want no I don't they're want gonna that. they're gonna pull they're gonna pull back on the sanvers because floriana it's gonna i mean it's gonna go away sanvers is not going to be a thing just letting you guys know whoever's holding on hope they're done um so we have to watch the storyline if we were to watch it it to see if they're even going to allow alex to continue being gay you know i have a terrible feeling that they're just gonna all of a sudden make her go oh it was just a phase ma, and she's gonna go back to being with some dude you know what i'm saying um, with Supercorp, they're going to purposely write it out. I think um, anything is going to be very structured, which means Lena's going to have a lot more boyfriends, a lot more male interaction, you know, things like that. This show next season, this show next season is going to be heavy Monel, heavy trio with Rain and Supergirl. They even said, you know, it's going to be like. It's going to be everything that, you know, a lot of us fans weren't really hoping for. We were hoping that Monel would either get written off or have a better storyline. And now it's just going to, once again, be the Monel and Rain show featuring these other matters of characters. So I personally am not looking forward to recapping it like I was. I liked Supercorp. I liked Supergirl. I liked Sanvers. I liked Wynn. I liked Jimmy. And I think that they're doing a huge disservice to all of their characters. I mean, I might watch the premiere just to see what it's like. I, I think I, I think just... I think I'm going to leave it up to the discussion that happens here, see what people think, what their thoughts are, where they lie. I feel like I, I'm not as excited either. And, and it's really just because I want to see like I don't need to see Supercore canon. That's not what I'm there for. But no. I do need to see this these the people who like it i need to see that that fandom respected and i felt like it was just a little it was a little dismissive and i also sorry real quick i also have to mention yes uh because you said about respect i think that any ship fandom like i said when to superman you know magon john alex maggie whatever they should all be respected. Carmel even should be respected. I cannot get behind asking the actors and the corporation to respect us when there are a lot of Sanvers Supercorp fans who are very hateful, sending death threats, sending, you know, you should kill yourself, um, you know, threatening text and tweets. That's not respectful. That's kind of showing them that we're animals and that we don't deserve respect. So, 
it's okay to be passionate. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to not watch a show and not give them your time or energy so that the ratings fall. What's not okay is us attacking them, us stooping to the level of disrespect and immaturity. I just urge everybody to stay respectful to yourselves and your community, also respecting others. You can respect Carmel because there are people who are only going to see that as a 100% ship and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you know, Sanver shipping. There's nothing wrong with Supercorp shipping. There's nothing wrong with shipping because it brings you to a, a show that gives you enjoyment and life and takes you away from your every day. So by bringing hate onto actors and the community, we're making ourselves look bad and we're also making it not fun for the actors to be portraying these characters. So if you don't like something that's going on, talk to the writers. Say, what is this? This is not okay. You know, Carmel, their relationship seems toxic as crap if you believe that. Or, hey, Sanvers is a little boring. Or, you know, even though Super Corp's not canon, you know, can you stop with the kind of baiting or point out the scenes? You know, we have a lot of GIF ability and, and, and uh, able to put uh, scenes on YouTube. Link those scenes, guys. Be like, hey, in this scene, to our community, this looks gay as shit. Are you baiting us? Are you doing that on purpose? What's your purpose here? Talk to the editor. There are ways that we can get across and like I said in the Sanvers kind of versus way hot deep discussion, this is how we get to the network. If you don't like how they're treating you in res relation to respect, don't watch it. It's like an abusive boyfriend. Oh, well, they hurt my feelings. This is one of those times where they hurt my feelings. They'll get better. They're going to treat us right. And they might treat you right for a month. And then they're going to do something else that pisses you off. So we're either going to watch the show and keep giving them ratings when they don't really deserve it, or we don't. And if they change the writing, if the show actually revolves around Supergirl and isn't about Monel, isn't about ships, actually is focusing on the main character, then maybe, you know? But at the moment, I'm not really convinced. I'm not really looking forward to season three. I actually have fallen madly, deeply in love with Winona Earp because it's everything Supergirl isn't. And I rather watch that show. So. If you guys have other um, suggestions. You have other shows you want us to recap. You know, gay, straight, doesn't really matter. I don't mind shipping straight couples. I don't mind shipping gay couples. I enjoy a good story and good writing and fun and an immersive environment. So if you guys have any of those shows that you really want to, you know, talk about it. Because we're thinking about maybe Gypsy or Glow. Um, any of those kind of things that are more real let us know. We will discuss them. We will talk about them. But I personally am just kind of over this back and forth with a show and a, and a company. Yeah, a whole network with a problem. They just don't care for us. No matter when they give us a gay couple, they're like, oh, Riverdale, there's gays. Just kidding. There's like a gay and it's not going to happen. There, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of baiting there too. It's, 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 an, it's on every other show. And, and then they continue to persist with like these hetero heteronormatives and and it's it's difficult when they're sending you so many mixed messages and it's kind of just like it's you got to reach a point your own personal point where you're like enough is enough and i think that for me for me i think that i loved watching this super core thing blossom and adair and i we spoke to this today because we do have content we put up we're kind of the people who put up the the, the silly content about this and kind of help to grow this community and we love this community as well but we at one point it's like you have to be good to yourself and if you feel like this is abusive then definitely you should should do something about it and i know some people might get like oh the word abusive it is. It's, it's uh, you know, and my roommate, funny enough, he goes, some people like to be hurt. So some people like to watch shows like this knowing that it's going to end badly for them because it gives them something to talk about. It's giving them fodder. It's giving them um, kind of a burn. You know, it's like, as they say in the business, uh, bad publicity is still good publicity because yeah. the name's getting out there, because the show's getting out there. And so that's why I think in our community, we need to cut it off at the head. This is a great example of a time where it's crappy and where the dip in numbers is going to showcase to the executives, the ones who are making the final decisions, that you can't do that. Yeah. So that's my biggest and, and, thing. 
right you have to you have to you have to like you as as a group or just you as an individual have to make that choice we can't make it for you we do want you to you know interact let us know what you think you know maybe our feelings will be different in a week from now i don't know <laughs> yeah right now I don't it's, know. Too, I've, it's I've too already, real I right now on, i was already kind of on the fence with supergirl anyways even at the end I was just kind of on the fence with everything. I think it brings up like trauma from the hundred for me, and I'm like, ugh, this this network. I actually didn't really watch the hundred because I could care less about that storyline. But yeah. um, it more or less bothers me because, like I said, I was so in love with Sanvers, and not even Sanvers. I was in love with Alex's storyline, and I thought that was great. And so I know that they are capable of great writing, but the fact that they're choosing not to, and then there's lack of PR. There, it's a lack it's, it's of a couple of layers um, of things yeah there's a layer of things it's like the, being a professional being a, a proper working channel the showrunner the um corporate heads up are very out of touch with that they need to be coaching their cast pr wise they just need to you know the fact that melissa came from glee jeremy came from broadway these actors should have a particular sensibility of how to handle these situations from their backgrounds but it's shocking that they don't so you guys you know what you know we're gonna wrap this up but what are your thoughts hit us up on twitter let's talk about it hit us up here i really want a discussion with you guys did you see the video i think i'll try to link it at the bottom um also you know jeremy's apology and how did you feel about it I don't want really any like negative like like you this it's really an open discussion guys because i see both sides of like like i said i'm a sanvers a super Corp liker but i also you know shipped melissa with i mean a uh, supergirl with a uh, jimmy you know things like that so i see both sides but right now i'm really hurt as a shipper because uh, i like shipping i think it's fun it's a way to escape so i'm hurt as a shipper i am a little bruised and I do forgive the actor for being uneducated in the ways of handling it. But or, like or just said, like kind of like flighty. It was just like it yeah. was it was harmless, you know, in his deliverance. But it was also thoughtless. It was thoughtless. And unfortunately, you know, that ended up hurting people's feelings. And, you know, also in the comments, guys, please don't tell other people how they can feel. Nobody can tell another person how they feel. If this hurts somebody's feelings, it hurt their feelings. If it didn't hurt your feelings, congratulations, your feelings weren't hurt. But please be kind to each other um, within this discussion because one person might really have a strong connection to the show for reasons that you have no idea about. And having that said and seeing that really could have devastated somebody or not. So let's be kind to each other. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter at whatabout underscore dat and you know let's talk about it and for those of you guys wanting to see if you haven't been watching winona erp yet check it out good writing good representation fandoms are respected and loved there's positive male role models there's positive female role models there's positive family role models and you know that's all we've ever wanted for everybody to be included there's multi-ethnic cast everybody is included you know, I think the only thing we don't have is a trans character, but, you know, who who knows? Maybe next year we have a season three. So let's find out. OK, um, Jen, any last words? No, I think that's it. I really look forward to everybody hearing what everybody has to say. And yeah, you reach us at you can reach us at our Twitter account as well. Yeah. And if you guys want to hear this uh, cast again or start a discussion everywhere else, we're also on SoundCloud and iTunes. So check us out there, guys. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. Be kind to the fandoms. And once again, check out Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy on YouTube. That is an awesome place to learn more about shipping and the different ships that are going on, whether it be in anime, cartoons, movies. It's an excellent uh, channel about ships. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.